Okay, let's have a look at the prism in triple projection with cast shadows. So again, this is going to be a technical drawing exercise. So why draw this particular exercise? Because I know this is going to be a bit difficult for you. It's going to be from zero to uh, just getting used to the idea of, um, of connecting triple projections with uh, a 3D volume. And uh, the transition itself between 2D and 3D is where the magic happens, where you start seeing everything the right way. So what are we going to draw here exactly? Well, it's going to be a triangular and a rectangular prism. So a prism with a base that's a triangle and a prism with a base that's a rectangle. I'm going to draw them in planar, frontal and side view. And then go for the isometric. This is where you will fry your brain. How to do this right? Well, finish the planar view, then go for the frontal and side view. Do not forget to add the coordinates for the OX, OY and OZ axes. Copy the dimensions from the 2D to the 3D drawing and uh, then not cast shadows and then hatch. Simple as that. Okay, so the video starts now. Right, so let's go for the height of seven and with a um, you know, 90 degree angle triangle with a 2 and 3 centimeter edges. Hmm, maybe it would be best for it to look like this. Turned it around, right? O, Y, Y second and Z. Now let's thicken these lines. Oh, made a mistake. This isn't a, a, a vertical axis, this is the vertical axis. What was I thinking? This doesn't look vertical. So this is the correct axis, okay? Y, Z. Right, verticals. Thicken the edges. Right, let's see some shadows.
right now let's see the hatching so this obviously four centimeter hatching so darken this bit Yeah, we can just make this grey. Right. And again, just to get clarity, boom, done. Right, let's start, draw a prism. Its height should be, uh, I think, 7 centimeters. The length should be 3, width should be 1. So, again, let's start with the axis system, the projection system, right? Oh man, again this triangle is causing trouble, should get rid of it, look at this error, it's just ridiculous. The coordinates should always be taller than the, the thing we're drawing. Right, let's now thicken the lines. Right, let's draw it in AXO. Let's see if it doesn't overlap. Right, let's thicken the lines. Contour, contour, dashed for back lines.
Yeah, I don't really like this here. Dashed again, let's go for the shadows now. 60 degrees and a horizontal, okay. Same as every time. Now let's go for hatching. Four centimeters wide. actually overlap this here because uh, you lovely see cover it up with uh, darker hatching just to thicken the lines once more to make sure we can do it right hmm this could use a bit more hatching here boom next okay let's see some next level stuff maybe try some descriptive geometry go for some planar changes maybe or some sections try curved volumes which have circles slash ellipses in axonometric so a cone a cylinder or a sphere a cylinder is kind of like a prism if you uh, pay attention and uh, keep the technical drawing clean construction contour and thick line the hierarchy of three lines i also attached the full video of this lesson so you can re-watch it it's in the uh, description of this video okay so if you've got any questions just let me know in the comments box below Talk to you soon.